morning and welcome back to the vlog. Okay, I have my ring light on and we're still having bad lighting. So what's gonna make this better? Starting to think my room just might have some bad lighting. Anyways, good morning, welcome to the vlog. I'm Ava, if you're new here, if you're not, welcome back. And apologies that I haven't been consistent while I've been in New York. To be honest, I just, I think I underestimated how much work it would be to, I have three jobs right now and having a social life and like a new relationship and also trying to like, you know, enjoy New York. So I really haven't had time to vlog. I've been doing TikTok a lot. Go follow me there if you guys want to check out more of my New York City content. But I'm really happy to be back and vlogging and I just started out the morning in honestly the best way possible. I walked over to Ralph's. I don't know if this is like a hot take because my roommates just told me that they really don't like this coffee. I think their oat draft latte is like the best thing ever. I love it. I think it tastes like La Cologne and I think it's so good. I tr I'm trying not to get coffee out too often but to be honest, this morning I have an interview in like the next hour and I thought it'd be good for me to just, you know, get up, get some steps in and go get coffee so I could be like awake and also I could start the vlog. <coughs> Apologies if you can hear this construction above us. We've been having construction since we moved in basically and it's really annoying but something that honestly we just have to live with. But welcome to the vlog. I'm going to take you guys through a day in my life in New York City. A lot of it's going to be, you know, work from home, chilling, but also I'll take you through anything fun that I do. I think we we'll to dinner tonight, which will be fun at one of my favorite places. But yeah, starting off the morning, I'm going to jump onto my laptop and do like some emails, start some work, and then I'm going to have that interview. And I'm probably going to have a Bobo's bar for breakfast because I have that like every single day before I start any of this. But yeah, this is the current setup. I sit here on my desk, usually in a sweatsuit like this, um, and just do some work. It's like 10 a.m. right now, so let's get started. I'll check back with you guys maybe after the interview or when I'm doing anything interesting. Okay, maybe today is a bad day of a vlog because I've had actually like so much work when I usually like, you know, have work, but... I've just actually been on my computer all day. Anyways, I'm gonna leave to go work out at SoulCycle and then go to my shift at SoulCycle soon. I just made chicken tenders for lunch because I really didn't have time to make anything else and I'm going to dinner after my shift like late at night at like 8.30 at a really good place that I'm obsessed with. Yeah, I just wanted something to hold me over for my workout and for my shift. We're making this and I've also been snacking literally all day. I had breakfast and I've had like a few snacks throughout the day. So keeping myself satiated, but this will hold me over for sure. Gonna leave for the workout. I'm gonna shower at Soul change and then also bring a change of clothes for Hillstone. So we're gonna have to pack a big bag. Oh, I just revealed where we were going to dinner. I'm so excited. I love Hillstone. But yeah, I'll, I'm gonna eat this and take a quick work break and then I'll check in with you guys when we're packing up to go to work. <laughs> Let's pack my bag for work. Can you guys hear that construction? That's insane. All right, let's pack my bag. This is the bag I use. It's from Kara. It's so nice. It has like a ton of different like, oh wait, construction. This construction is going to drive me insane. It has a ton of different pockets and it's just perfect for packing for like all day. I packed my studio crew sweatshirt and a pair of sweatpants for my shift, jeans and a black sweater for dinner. I need to put heels in there too. And now let's pick out an outfit to wear to work out. This is where I keep all my workout stuff under my bed. Definitely leggings cause it's cold. I'll probably do black aloe and let's do the matching sports bra. That'll be good. Last few things I'm packing. I'm gonna pack flats instead of heels because I need a city bike over to dinner and these are safer to do that in. I don't know if this bag is gonna fit on the city bike. These are my quick toiletries for when I shower at another place. It's not my home, brush, and then I have jeans, flats, and a sweater for dinner. And that's all we need. I'm gonna leave in like 10 minutes, gonna finish up some work stuff before, and we'll be on our way to work out, work, dinner. Woo. This is what it's like to be running from place to place at all hours of the day using this as your lifeline Running out of the door, but here's my fit I'm Gonna go eat some pizza Oh, yeah And then the next day you guys Good night guys. Love you to death. Me and my fur coat. I'm so tired. It's so full. I gotta sleep.
morning guys. It's 9 a.m. I'm off to Soul Cycle. Here's my outfit. Leggings, sports bra, sweatshirt. It's like 50 degrees, so hopefully the sun keeps me warm. I'm tired. Let's talk to you after class. Going to my favorite instructor. It's gonna be a good morning. Woo. And look at the view. So beautiful. I kind of want to try to make like a protein coffee. I'm going to mix this with my coffee. I feel like it'd be good. No nut butter cup. Protein shake. Yeah. Mm. Sorry guys, I was trying not to be loud because my roommates are studying slash working. But I just put my coffee with a protein shake this morning. I don't know why I had the random urge. I think because I've been seeing people on TikTok do it and it's really good. And like good way to get protein in after a workout. And I still have enough protein shake to like make another one. So, new life hack. I got these protein shakes, Boom PR from Live Own, O-W-Y-N. Anyways, I look gross. Just had a great workout with Jordan. She's my favorite soul cycle instructor. She's such a queen love her and it was such a hard class i was already like sore before the class so that's when you know you're just gonna be like really sore the next day but it's a great way to get up and start my morning now i'm just looking at the beautiful city view drinking my coffee and we need to make my bed because i was too tired to this morning I also unbox these packages because they're like literally in my desk and i need to start working we have some like not urgent work but like work i need to do this morning and then we have a bunch of errands to run later this afternoon so let's start on cleaning the room finish this and probably have some breakfast soon what a life hack it's like peanut butter cup so it tastes like peanut butter cup coffee bus hey guys welcome back to another episode of hot mess with alex earl update I'm still working. I did take a shower in between meetings, but I'm just sitting here working, having some popcorn as a snack. I've been obsessed with the Lesser Evil popcorn recently. I also just like love to snack while I work. That's the worst part about working from home is I can always be snacking. I also always love a beverage, drinking uh, seltzer water right now. And yeah, I don't have any more meetings for the day, but I have a lot of work. I also have three hour train ride. I'm going to my boyfriend's in Maryland tomorrow, his like hometown. I'm gonna try to get all my work done today. I'm gonna talk to you guys. When I'm done working, because I have some errands to run, I need to get my eyebrows done, get my nails done, and pick up a gift for my boyfriend's family. I'll talk to you guys then, because what I'm doing right now is boring. Get in the elevator. The elevator's definitely gonna beep, but really quickly, let's go get my eyebrows and nails done. A little glow up moment before I go to my boyfriend's family's house. I just feel like they both need to be redone. This nail broke at Soul Cycle, of course, and I just need to freshen my eyebrows. And then we're gonna go get them a gift. So let's go. Here's the before of my eyebrows. They're like fine, just not like the best. Okay, why does the lighting on my camera suck everywhere? Just got done with my eyebrows. She literally slays them every single time. I've only gone once before, but they look really good. Now I'm gonna go look for the wine that his mom likes for a gift, and then we'll get our nails done. Stay tuned. Okay, approaching a wine shop. I hope they have what I need. They didn't have it. We're gonna go get our nails done and then hopefully find somewhere that has it. Here's my nails before. I think I'm just gonna do a bubble bath, short nails. And they're gonna look so much better than this. Hey guys. It's been a minute, but I'm back home from my errands and I'm gonna start to pack and also make something to eat. So I figured I would vlog to you guys. I got a bunch of arugula yesterday and I never used it. Or I got it like a few days ago. So I think I'm gonna make a little salad with chicken just so it doesn't go bad while I'm gone. I'm leaving in like two hours for the train. Arugula is the best green out there. And if you disagree, I just don't agree with you. I got my eyebrows done. I think I showed you guys she slayed. And then I also got my nails done. Um, I just got bubble bath and I got them really short. One of my nails broke and like, you know the struggle, but if one nail breaks, it's kind of just easier to get them all to that length. And it broke its whole cycle. Sometimes like we do a lot of like handling of towels and shoes and having long nails is a little bit difficult. So I just decided to get them all short. And it feels so much cleaner, even though it's not as cute looking, I will admit. I'm gonna air fry some chicken to go in my salad. Glad I got all those errands done. I think 
that we're gonna have dinner when we get to his hometown, but I don't really wanna wait that many hours. So we're gonna eat something now. Let's just finish off these chicken tenders, honestly. I am going to pack after this. I already started laying stuff out on my bed. I also need to write a card. Oh, I ended up getting a bottle of wine. I literally went to three different liquor stores and they didn't have the wine that his mom likes, but it was like a Chardonnay brand, so I just got a similar Chardonnay. Um, and they wrapped it up all cute, I'll show you. It's actually like kind of ugly how they wrapped it, but <laughs> I don't have any other wrapping, so I'll be grateful. Um, <laughs> they wrapped it like silver with a ribbon. It's the thought that counts. I have a ton of packages to open. Figured we could do that together. We all know Prime Day was yesterday, so I obviously had to buy some stuff. I honestly feel like I didn't go overboard. Like, you know, there's some fun things that are on sale for Prime Day. I genuinely just like needed some things and it happened to also be Prime Day, so it worked out. I'm obsessed with box cutters recently. Okay, I got these cups and like tops of the cup, lids, why can't I think of that word? Because I've been making hot coffee at home, but sometimes I wanna like bring it out of the house. So just got these, it's like a 50 pack maybe. Boring, but something I got. Something I have a bone to pick with with Amazon is they literally put everything in a separate package. Like we really could have just put this all in one package together, but, and I always click the little thing that says like put it all in one package and it still didn't do it. Okay, my camera is dying, but I'm just gonna keep recording until it dies. Please don't die. Okay, I also got gummy vitamins and melatonin. I've been taking melatonin when I need to get up super early and I think I just need to start taking vitamins. So got both of those. I also got these clean face towels that I use like after I wash my face and they're a lot better for your skin than like reusing the same towel over and over. Some Nespresso pods because my roommate has an espresso and these are just the double espresso. These are the ones I love. Just a good restock and I don't even know if these were on sale for Prime Day, but whatever. Okay, I'm gonna stop unboxing on camera since my camera's about to die. Just open this package. I don't really know what it is to be honest, but it looks like it's a bunch of skincare stuff, which is always super fun. Okay, I got eye patches, a face mask, and two more face masks. Okay, this is like a great package. I'm so excited right now. This is a overnight mask, Peter Thomas Roth cloud mask. Good products. I don't know what brand said this, but I owe them one. Another face mask and osmosis cream. I need to like go through each of those and you know, see what they're used for, but I love skincare as you guys know, so these will not be getting put to waste. That's a great package. They're almost done. Oh, so I hope my camera can survive. I'm not obsessed with when packages have this like stuff in it, you know, this, cause it gets everywhere. So I'm just gonna take the products out very gently and show you guys what they are. But it's skincare for your scalp. This is the brand, Act Plus Acre, which sounds awesome. And I'm definitely gonna start using the scalp exfoliator because I do feel like my hair could use that. I don't know what this is. Oh my gosh, there's like little buttons. That's so cute. And then a oily scalp serum. Obsessed with this. I do have an oily scalp, so I will be using this. And thank you so much to this brand. Obsessed. I will give a review when I start using it. This brand. Oh my days, girl, no.